Building functions in R is a key skill that I'll cover in this section of videos. In this first video, the basic structure of a function will be introduced in the context of reporting both the mean and the standard error of a dataset. I'm going to start by creating a test dataset called D. Here, D is a sample of 25 observations from a Poisson distribution with 8 degrees of freedom. Next, I'd like to ensure that my test dataset is stable, so if I rerun my code, I'll get the same kind of results. I'm going to do this using the setSeed function. Now if I regenerate my data multiple times, I get the same test dataset. Now on to the general structure of a function. I'll start by carefully choosing a function name. Here I've thought about this ahead of time. I'm going to call it get mean and standard error. Next, I'll assign a function object to this name using the function declaration. I've provided a generic argument x to represent the data, and I'll use braces to contain the code to be executed using the arguments. I'll compute the mean, the length of the dataset, and the standard error of the mean inside of these braces. Presently, the function identifies the mean and its standard error. However, the variables m and sc only exist in the scope of the function, so when I run the function, I don't actually get any results. What I need to do is add a return statement. Now when I rerun the function, the mean and the standard error will be returned. This new function can be helpful, however, its present output isn't actually ideal. It would be nice to make explicitly clear what each of the outputs is from the function. In the next video, I'll expand the function and take a look at this challenge.